Hello, welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. This is part two of the gameplay and tutorial series that I'm making. So, so far, taking out the rebels, sorted out my units, use all my units, there we go, and I've established all my production so far that is needed. I still have the construction going, 26 days. In this video, I'm going to take over this island, I think. I think that's probably the best way of, do um, best way of going. And then you'll see what the air force is like. And also more production, production stuff. And also, I'm selling gold. Get a little bit more money. And diplomacy, I'm going to make sure I get this up as much as possible. Still going, going. Four days to completion. So, my troops so far need some ammo. Uh, Twelve percent. I think I've got. I've got that making. I think. Let's have a look. Yes, I do. So I will uh, edit out the uh, boring parts, so then you don't have to just watch me just look more look around the map so often. But here, there we go, another uh, trade agreement. That's very good. Now, I haven't got no allies in this game, so what I'll do, I'll just keep doing proof relations with this guy. Alright, so it's just, uh, the clock's done. Now we're going to the Baretti. 50, 60, 75 days. Not only two and a half months. <laughs> Not too bad, we're in April. So halfway through the year. Also, at the start. What's my food looking like? Uh, my food, 10,000 food. It's, st it's steadily going down. Um, hope my fire. Uh, yeah, 12 days to my bakery. I'm going to start bringing that in. Economics, ah, yeah, it's all good, all good. So far, so good. Anyway, <laughs> so we're all getting there. Should I? I need, I need. Uh, I want to start the war, but um, I need the ammo first. Can I resupply? Ah, there we go. It's full, full ammo. There we go. So I will cut down this video until the first war, okay? So it shouldn't be too long. Oh, as you can see, nothing selling at the moment. I haven't got nothing to sell. I might even get some food though, so I'll, uh, I'll buy that. Also, my oh, bakery is done in three days. Not too long, two days. Yeah, not too long. So we are getting there. We are getting there. Right, so with these other settlements, you can do whatever you want with them. You can move all your resources to NASCAR if you want. Actually, I am going to do that with the resources anyway. Especially on the right side. Where they might attack me and take over. Oh, I'll move the, some of the bread as well. Gold ore, the stone, and the wood boards. That's probably a good shout. And there's the little convoys moving. Look at that, look at the city quite fast as well so that's a that's brilliant and then I move over this stone and I move over all the way over the food it doesn't really matter because it all automatically distributes all the food straight over to all the uh, all the cities and all garrisons so we don't need to worry about that and um, not much going on in the market so I'll, I'll be back in a second Right, my uh, my bakery is complete. Two bakeries now, so if I'm, I'm going to come to here, and I am going to make a steel plant. Get the steel going. I got plenty of ore. Where is it? There, 251 ore. And once that's complete, in I believe it's. Ooh, let's get to let's get that production going. Uh, 103 days, so it's not too bad. So uh. 
happy days on that. Alright, so. Uh, UMPs are complete. So, if I go here, go down here, and I'll start making them now. UMPs, two iron per production. Not too bad. And then I will come over to back here. And I will start with making those. They're my favourite vehicles, the MRAB. Um, at the start of the game, so I use them, and then I don't usually go down this street, but then I start using labs. So let's uh, start doing that, and that should be done in a couple of months. So that's not too bad. And oh, democracy is done. There we go, 59. We're getting there. We're getting there. Happy days. And my troops are ready. If anyone tries any of these, trying to attack me. They will gradually start growing in strength, but uh, it doesn't get too bad. It's not too bad. Also, here, stability of your cities. If you can see, police squads are needed to maintain the law and order. So, go into your city, garrison, MP. Let's make a couple. And that should increase your stability, since it's only 40% at the moment, so that will increase it. Hopefully, I'll get it up to a good amount to be honest. I don't want rebels spawning every five minutes. Even if rebels is on low, they can still spawn quite often. So, uh, and uh, after a while, it does say your city is stable. So, uh, it's not too bad. See, law and order is established in these, so we don't have to worry about that. That's how you, you increase your stability, but also you can by having canned food here and alcohol. Which you don't, I wouldn't say you necessarily need so fast to be honest. But uh, you can if you want, you know, give your soldiers a treat, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, oh, there's our first part of the vehicles done. Happy days. This one will take 50 days and 30 days, and we're, ju uh, we're in July. So it's not too bad for the next year. So I'll be back when something interesting happens. So I wanted to add in. Also, so my UMPs are being created at Narvik, but you can also click on UMP, send it to your capital. Also, you can do repeat weekly. So it will send your UMPs from that town to your city every week. And so then you can do less micromanagement, come into the city every so often and move in and moving guns. So what I'll do now is I will show you all the uh, squad editor. This is probably the one of the most crucial parts of the games. So type. Let's go to infantry to start with. No, no, motorized. And then we'll go to UMPs. So this is a big list of all the weapons in the game. So you go down and you go and find UMP. Uh, wherever it is, UMP here. You can also equip them with different uh, sites so you know the E dot site just show up on the gun as well or the T4 usually have the T4 you can also change to rocket launcher and then what you'll do is you'll find vehicles so let's do this and let's save that I'm hoping this works oh ooh, my MRABs are also complete so go here and then we shall um, ammunition. Let's do some ammo. So I'll do seven um five five six, and then I will go down. Oh, actually, no, actually, let's go down to. Let's do some uh, uniforms. Actually, let's do uniforms. So M wraps are complete. So production. Oh, where production is? Right. So I'm going to stop making these. I have plenty of that ammo. And what I'll do, and I'll start making those instead. It will cost me 15 iron, 2 aluminium, and 2 copper. I got the, a bit of copper for some, and some aluminium for some as well. This is not too bad. But they do take a while. So T, T4s. Oh, another, oh, there we are. 80, so I'm going to keep that one as it is. I think I'm going to go to the other one now and improve the relationship with those. And then what I shall do is go back to squad editor. T4s. Go to that, and then I'm hoping it will change. No, it didn't change. All right, so what I'll do is I will delete the squad. So delete the whole squad. All right, and then go back here, 
my choice, good vehicles. And then, let's look for the MWAB. Uh, wherever it is. MWAB, there you go. Save squad. I just press them all, it's easier that way. And then, I'll do that. And then, I will make them. And also, all your other vehicles will go into it as well. And then you can delete that squad. And then all your guys should come up with UMP, rocket launcher, and also the T4 next to it. And my guns are still moving over here. I have... how many do I have? I have 35 UMP, so I don't have enough for everyone yet. But uh, I will get there. I will make a couple... I think I'll make a couple more squads. Alright, that's the police uniform done. The militia uniform is the next. And since I got some gold, I shall sell it. That's 6,000 gold you get a lot of money for. It's good to have one of those to start of the game. An iron mine would have been better, but you know. We're not all that lucky. And my food. Oh, let's have a look at this. Uh, statistics here. Uh, where's food? I'm not blind. Oh, there it is. So I'm still an expense of 21%. I'm in profit, which is still a loss. But uh, we'll get there eventually. So I'll be back when something interesting happens. Alright, my steel plant is now complete. So, oh, don't demolish it. So, that's complete. So what I'll start doing now at the port location, I will start building the basic resources. So wood, and then I'll be doing sawmill. I use wood to make wood boards, and then the stone. So I'm going to start off with that one. Go get that going, 26 days. And yeah, we're going to get some wood up. That'd be great. Um, I've just been selling my uh, gold here and also uh, moving my UMPs. They are nearly full. Yeah, it's getting there. Getting there. Obviously, they're going to get different guns until they've got some UMPs, which they don't have at the moment. Which they should start getting. Uh, soon you can do it. you can do it this way as well you can go to supply and you can uh, supply them that way as well I'll tell you what they need obviously we don't need that but it's just because they're getting their weapons because they've got no UMPs left at the moment I need to find some T4s as well but nothing's really selling on the market I think I'm gonna need more trade agreements even though I got quite a lot to get more T4s I will start making them myself but we are coming up to the end of the year as well and my uniform's nearly complete. I don't think I've had a vehicle yet. Nope, vehicles should take uh, 768 hours, which is uh, God knows how long. <laughs> but it'll be done eventually. And now, also production. Let's get my iron going. Start making some iron, and there's diplomacy done. All right, so let's, uh, let's do another trade agreement with these guys. 100% success. Brilliant trading, nothing at all. So that's all for now. I'll, be, I'll see you when something happens. Right, so as you can see, I have run out of iron. Which is not good, but I did make another vehicle. So I will put that in there. I'll put the M-Rabs at the top. And then after this is done, I am going to go and make war with these guys. So, uh... That should be interesting. It should be fun. Um, no one's selling any iron, unfortunately. But uh, no, at least we got some. Uh, at least we got uh, all our all our guys have got guns now. All UMPs. So I just need T T4s as well. But there's no T4 scopes uh, selling, which is unfortunate. And, oh, actually, any uh, nope, no RPGs or anything either. I have got that. I'm researching though. Uh, RPGs I'll be searching three days and I'm going to do that for 25 days and then we'll be in the next year and there is the RPG and the ammo stone pits also done then I shall do the planks and then uh, let's get the wood in that going I forgot to actually put that production on that wasn't a good idea <laughs> uh, and now I shall I shall get all this gold and I will put it on the market 4k extra good good Whenever it sells. 
and that is it for now. Right, as so you can see, it's now January. So, obviously we've got new weapons here. Don't go for these. These are awful weapons, in my opinion. I always wait for the next year to get the M41K. Amazing weapon. And then I usually wait till I get the MK14 and then to the L86 vehicles. You can also get those, but I don't see really much difference apart from the armor. So I always wait for the next year. And here, well, we've still got nothing till next year. I'm pretty sure you can get these two, but I don't think you can get any of the locked ones. I'm pretty sure you can only get these for now. So I'm looking forward to them to come out, to be honest. Have some battleships running around. That'd be brilliant. Some sea battles. Be a bit of fun. And diplomacy with these two guys. I'm getting up as much as I can. And now I shall justify war goals with these guys. And they are there. So justify war goal. Send a bribe. Cost a little bit extra. 45 days. So I'll be back when the war starts and when I start attacking. Right. So the war justify war goal has completed. So what I'll do is I'll use Narvik as a staging ground. So what I will do is I will throw a bunch of ammo into Narvik. So let's say half of that and uh, half the APC ammo. And then what I'll do, I will move these over here and oh, make sure no nothing is anything's completed. No. And then I shall move my main force over here. So I've got something protecting that. And then I shall go and attack this city with my main force. And let's, uh, you know, hope for the best. So wish me luck. Oh, there we are. Okay, we could. No. There we are. Do that. Attack. And then we'll see what they have. Oh, this is. So they got three vehicles. They got a very weak army. So let's get into it. Alright. So here we go. These are my vehicles. So what I shall do, since all the enemies are going to be. Well, there's, they're there. So what I'll do is I'll do this. Go into a line here. And they should be able to pick those off. Maybe. If they can see them. But we will find out. Oh, yep, yeah, they see them. <laughs> there we go. And then what I'll do to show you... Should I just get this up? Let's show you... Oh. I didn't want to be here. This, uh, this troop. I'll let everyone come up first. You can't, can't just pick any individual troop. You have to... Don't know which one's which. Ah, there we go. Okay, so to do artillery strike, or say a uh, jet strike or a helicopter strike come up here get your binoculars out wheel down to it if I don't die first and as you can see in the bottom left of my screen above to how many enemies and how many of your guys left you have four strikes so what I'll do is I know they're here so I'll do F10 and then left click and then run away <laughs> And they're still shooting me. And then I'll come to the map. And then what I'll do is I'll move these forward. But I will control because you guarantee they're going to try and blow one up. And that's a helicopter strike. You know it's a very weak one because they're not very good helicopters. But they still killed one. So, happy days. <laughs> um, so, we know where they are, anyway. So, what I'll do is I'll go around where they can see them. Or over here. I think I'll move these left. Oh, I can move them, actually. Let's get my troops out. So they can see in there. Oh, and he's shooting the tree. <laughs> oh, and they're firing RPGs at me. Oh, 
and oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm quite shocked they didn't get perfect hits to be honest with you. But we know where they're coming from. Look at them all. Oh, I can F10 from here now. Right, let's get some air support on there. F10 it. Over there. And another F10. There. Do it. Oh, I'm losing the boots. Now let's see what this airstrike. We'll call them all bunched up. Hopefully it kills a few. Oh wow, that was a really underwhelming. <laughs> Oh, that missed all together. Perfect. Hey, there we are. Double kill. Nice. <laughs> now I'm going to take command of here, kill as many as I can. Where am I reload? If I can actually get them. Vehicles have been blown up to be honest with you. Oh, yes, I've lost a vehicle. Wait. Oh, he's. Oh, he's lost a gunner. Let's just get the gunner in there. Oh, quick. Uh, get some reinforcements on the left side, I think. Oh, oh, that's put it. It's <laughs> a problem with these, they uh your troops get killed easily. You just keep shooting them. Eventually, go boom like that. There we go. And unfortunately, he's lost all this. Oh, there he is. Got someone. Let's get some reinforcements up there. Any troops that's not in any action, let's move from across this side. Probably get them out to be honest. No, he's not doing much, is he? Can't see nothing. Let's get him up here. You, you lose vehicles because the RPGs. That happens. Just move up these two M webs. Now I've got four soldiers without a vehicle. So let's go nuts. Let's send them in. forward them. Send them in. Go and get them boys. That's a great guy. Let's go. I am pro uh, producing vehicles so it's not that much of a big deal.
Oh, I killed someone that surrendered. <laughs> They're all surrendering slowly. So the map looks really good. Gameplay is really good. So I hope you're all enjoying this game. And whoever doesn't own this game, I hope to consider owning it. It's a very, very good game. This on Steam. go I won very nicely surrendered so I got all these guns out of it happy days lost two vehicles unfortunately but you know it is what it is so I've taken this and oh this has a lot of stuff in it look at that let's send that all back to my my, my bigger my, my main city so call the money yeah, and then what I'll do, and then I will move these back to Navic, and I will then resupply them with all the ammo they need, and also I didn't send them over any. What have they got in here already? Oh, they got loads of garrison. No, that's good. Got another M map as well, which I'll send over there. Navic, go go go. Garrison, no big deal. Uh, send that over to Navic as well. APC ammo, take Navic, and. That's it. Alright, give them that. And there they go, they're going to take the city back. That's absolutely fine, because then I'll just go over and take it back again. <laughs> they got five vehicles this time. Ooh. That's an auto that, no point wasting on it. And then, since they're already supplied, let's go back. That's another army of those destroyed then. Alright, 125, 5 vehicles. Uh, 9 vehicles, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Alright. The same as last time, probably. Let's go and have a look. Yep, they've put themselves all into defensive positions. So let's let's do it on this side this time. There we go. Let's get all my troops out. It's them. Oh, what? just this on the road, isn't they? Just move them up there. Yeah, they're all sitting here as well. Oh, they've all got pistols and bad, uh, bad guns, so that's good. I think what I'll do with these guys, I'll send them on this side. And let's make them uh, stand they run faster. I'm quite shocked they can't see them in there. Well, I'll run these over there and I'll say command and I'll start shooting some of them. Oh, there's all their vehicles. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> yes, sir. But these these are devastating against your troops, so you gotta make sure you take them out first. One is move inside the inside the uh, refinery, so just can't see him yet. No, nope, can't see him. That's fine. Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that's fine. Sir, yes, sir. All right. Let's see what I can do with this guy.
Oh, I got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of made me jump a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's try again. This time, hopefully, I can see him. I can't see him. There we go. That's one dead anyway. There's a nade over there. Oh, that's one enemy vehicle destroyed. There we go. Alright, now what shall I do is I'll move some vehicles over here. To get an angle. Oh, which vehicle? Did I destroy one? I did destroy Oh, two other vehicles actually. Very good. He doesn't get stuck on a tree. That's F1. Uh, hey guys, so unfortunately my game recorder stopped recording for some reason. So basically, we took this. That was in the, that be that will be in the main video. Uh, come on, come on. And then I took this. I took this area. I took a lot of big glasses to be honest with you. But uh, I had to get some extra vehicles to make up for the losses. And also, all of this. Because I've just taken over their capital. And then what I shall do with this, is I will move it to my main capital. This is what... Oh, if I go to my... Oh, that is the right place. There we go. And there we are. That's the way to play the game, you see. Until it's been... Until they sort it out. Look at all that. Lots of resources. Obviously, I will hold and take over this city as well. And uh, I shall have to recoup my losses by going over here. And I'll do that in the uh, next video. So for now, I will uh, leave it here. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!